back to the channel of ProAnzu Vids, and this is my review on the game that just finished between New Zealand and uh, Fiji. And uh, yeah, well, this was a great game, and I mean, it was great only because from, from what we've seen recently in the World Cup, it's been heaps of lopsided blowout scorelines, you know? So I guess in terms of um, tightness and match quality, where it's been like, you know, a back and forth game, obviously, but it's tight at least. I think that's where. This game for me stands out. New Zealand Fiji at least was tight. At least it was a good game. I thought with the quality and etc. So I, I quite enjoyed it actually. I think it was quite good. This one I, I really thought that um, both sides gave it their all and tried very 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 hard. Um, but yeah, look, it was New Zealand who came away with the win in controversial fashion. I will say, but definitely you know still did well enough to get the win and uh, advance to the next stage now. So um, that means Fiji knocked out and. Uh, yeah, um, basically going to give a whole sort of review on how I thought the game went. So um, I'd like to also point out that if you are new watching, watching the channel right now, um, make sure to, sub to subscribe. Um, literally only 10 subscribers away now from 2,700. So look, 2,700 obviously been an aim for a little while now. So hopefully I can get there by end of um, end of today, uh, start next week, uh, whenever. But should be very soon, hopefully. So I um, do appreciate all the new support recently as well. But um, without further ado, time into the game uh, review. So, um, look, I will say this. I thought through the first five minutes of the match, Fiji looked like a better side. Fiji were definitely pushing New Zealand all the way and looked like they were competing a lot more harder than what New Zealand could offer. I think guys like Kikia Sadragu. Now, shout out to Tangela Sadragu. I think, I think Tangela Sadragu is one special player in the making. Um, was originally on a train and trials deal at the Cowboys, I think, and he came from the Sevens, Rugby Sevens. Um, but he's been given a top 30 contract contract now, I believe, by the Cowboys. And, uh, yeah, I think this um, Tangela Sadragu has some potential. So I think uh, he had a great game uh, for Fiji despite losing. Um, yeah, Kikia, Sivo all played pretty well. I, I thought uh, Koros at 5'8 at was good at times as well. So definitely um, a lot of the players stood out for Fiji and definitely gave it a go. There's... You can't question the effort, because the effort, the effort was definitely there. But I guess it's just unfortunate they didn't have the, the stamina, I guess, uh, towards the end to compete with New Zealand. And I guess it doesn't help when, um, I guess, you get a very rough call go, going against you as well towards the end of the game, which I'll, I'll touch into later. So, um, But, yeah, look, uh, look, I just thought that New Zealand played a lot better, I thought, for most parts of the game. Obviously, Manu uh, was very clinical once again. Jerome Hughes' running game was very dangerous. Um, you know... Nelson's great. I I just thought that in general New Zealand played a lot a lot better, a lot more um straightforward footy, a lot more um better ball control and stuff like that. So I think um you know with New Zealand and how they uh, look in this game wasn't their best game, but definitely a, you know an, an important result because they do. I think they either play um I'm not sure who they play actually, but it's either Australia, England, or Tonga Samoa winner of that game. So it'll be one of those sort of sides they play next week, but. Um, either way, uh, New Zealand won on to them. They obviously go into the, um, I guess you could say, prelims now of the World Cup. I mean, the prelims basically, whoever wins goes into the grand final, I assume. So that's how they're going to do it, I think. But um, yeah, New Zealand keep their chances alive while Fiji go out. I'm um, going to go for the trial scorers now, so for both sides. So obviously, first of all, in, in the 11th minute, it was uh, Fiji who scored first with Michael Sevo. Now, it was a great try because Kairosia got the ball out to kick out and kick out. What he does at Penrith uh, when he gets on the edge there, does the, the, the quick tap with the hands and um, basically bat the ball onto Sevo in the corner who scored. So it was uh, Fiji 6 0 early in the, in the 11th minute, and I couldn't believe it because um, they, they scored back to back again in the, in the 17th minute through Kevin Naguama. It was a beautiful ball by um, Sunia Taruva. Um, great cut out pass to Naguama in the centres there, and Naguama went over and uh, made it 12 points to nil there for Fiji. And yeah, Fiji was all over uh, New Zealand at that point. But a couple of minutes later, um, New Zealand finally scored through Ronaldo Mulatalo in the 25th minute. Then uh, in the 43rd minute, so at half time, it was uh, Fiji 12, New Zealand 6. And in the second half, in the 43rd minute, uh, it was Kevin Naguama again, who went over for another try uh, for double. Then after that, it was Brendan Cora for a try at 48 in the 48th minute. And then it was Joseph Manu in the 62nd minute for a try, then John Rapana in the 78th minute for the try, basically summed off the match. Um, but I will touch into the, top, the controversial topic now, and it's where the penalty happens. So I think it was around the 60th to early 70th minute mark where 
Joseph Manu made a line break, uh, beat a couple of Fiji defenders, and uh, nearly went through the whole way and until Liam Kikia tackled him, and Kikia basically tackled him where the ball was, like wrapped the ball up uh, while tackling Manu. And um, the ball just came out of Manu's hands and just like went to the, went to the ground there. Um, Joseph Manu said that he didn't lose the ball um, and got stripped out. And obviously Fiji challenged that, I think, and because it was obviously called a New Zealand ball, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, Fiji challenged that. They, they believe that it was a knock on by Manu because it looked like that Kikau didn't have, it, have um, well, uh, I mean, that's what Fiji believe. Hey, Fiji believe that Joseph Manu just knocked it on plainly there. But uh, I think what New Zealand probably thought was that Kikau um, knocked the ball out of the hands. So... Uh, the, eventually, the referee went to the the, the, the decision and uh, said that you know um, Liam Kikau had raked the ball out of uh, Joseph Manu's hands and it resulted in, in a penalty for um, uh, New Zealand and Joseph and, and Jordan Party went for the penalty goal, make it uh, eighteen to sixteen at that point or twenty to eighteen. Sorry, um, but yeah, no, nah, look, um, that was a very controversial call. I don't know if I can agree with that one, but I think either way. Fiji sort of mucked up their chances. I think uh, New Zealand were a bit better in general. But um, anyways, everyone, that's my review on the um, New Zealand Kiwis versus Fiji Barty game. Uh, what were your thoughts on the match? Let me, know, let me know in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the very next one.